The architect scale enables you to draw big things small while keeping them proportionately accurate. It has six sides and five of them have two scales each on them. One scale runs from left to right and the other scale runs from right to left and one scale is twice the size of the other. Let's look at the quarter inch scale. It's written like this. One quarter inch equals one foot. And what it means is that every quarter inch increment represents one real life foot. So to draw a line that is five feet long at the quarter inch scale, you'd start at the zero and count one, two, three, four, five. And there is a line five feet long. And the way you'd write that in proper architectural format is five foot dash zero inches. Now looking over here at the eighth inch scale, you can see it's a lot smaller. So a five foot line starting at zero would go one, two, three, four, five. It would be that long. You have all these different scales because not all items can be drawn at the same scale. Large items like floor plans are typically drawn at a quarter of an inch or eighth inch scales so that they'll fit on the sheet. However, very intricate items such as door details or window details need to be drawn at a larger scale such as three quarters of an inch equals a foot so that they're legible. And three quarters of an inch scale would be written like this. So let's draw a line at three quarters of an inch. We'll draw it two feet long. So we start here one at zero, one, two. And there's a line two feet long. Now what if we wanted to draw it six inches? long, or two feet six inches, or two foot three inches. Well that is what the subdivided scale is for. Every scale has a bunch of marks to the left or right of the zero. Here's the subdivided scale for three quarters, here it is for one half, one eighth, for three inches equals a foot, every scale has it. From zero to the last line is always 12 inches. So if that's 12 inches, the line in the middle will be 6 inches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So to add 6 inches to this 2 foot line, we'd go from 0 to 6. And it would be written like this two foot dash six inches. You wouldn't write two and a half feet like this because that's unclear. That could be interpreted as this. Two foot half an inch and that's the proper way to write that. You also wouldn't write two and a half feet like this because you don't use decimals on the architect's scale. Decimals are based on units of 10 and the architect's scale is based on units of 12. Let's look at another scale. This is the one inch equals a foot scale written like this. So to draw a line on it, that would be say three feet long, we start at the zero, one, two, 
3. And if we wanted to add 9 inches to that, we'd come here to the 0, 3, 6, 9. And the way that would be written would be 3 feet dash 9 inches. Now let's take a look at the true scale. The true scale, well, you know what, let me get rid of some of these first, get them out of the way. The true scale is what we call the ruler. That is, it is the one inch equals one inch scale. Each of these increments represents an inch and is an inch. It says 16 because each inch has been divided into 16 pieces. So this is 1 16th, 2 16th, or 1 8th, 3 16th, 4 16th, or 1 half. So if you wanted to draw a line that was 3 quarters of an inch long, you'd start here and end hmm, right about right about there. And that would be written like this, 3 quarters of an inch. Now here's a tip for doing, for writing guidelines when you're lettering. You can use the scale to mark the increment, the height of the letter you want. Here, if I want letters that are a quarter inch tall, I'll take the quarter inch scale and mark from 0 to 1 and then use my parallel bar to draw guidelines through those numbers. Here's another tip for reading the scale. If you're confused on what the increments are, you can always put your thumb and forefinger on the subdivided scale. Put your forefinger on the zero and your thumb on the last mark, and that is 12 inches. And then holding that position, oops, didn't mean to rotate that. Holding that position, move your thumb so that it's on the zero and wherever your forefinger lands is one foot. So with the one and one half inch scale, this is one foot, two foot, three foot. And that's how you use the architect's scale.